Greetings, embodiments of the Fools and curious acolytes of the galaxy, and welcome back to the archives of our channel. I have been expecting you. As you know, on the channel lately, we have been covering a lot of content orbiting around the Maw, and more specifically, the prisoner it was intended to contain, the eldritch abomination and dark side perversion that comes to be known as Abeloth, the Queen of the Stars, and the Mother of the Ones. Abloth is possibly, and undoubtedly, the most powerful dark side entity in all of Star Wars lore, surpassing any Jedi or Sith that came before or after her, destroying the Sun, Vitiate, Dark Nihilus effortlessly, and even, as some have speculated, being able to defeat the Father and match him in power, with the father being an extremely masterful and enigmatic force user that had the ability to use both light side and dark side affiliated force abilities at whim. However, oddly enough, despite the fact we have been discussing Abeloth and her immense unrivaled dark side power, throughout the channel, I have not delved into a video purely on her power. So, my friends, that is what we are going to be doing today. Be sure to sm strike down the subscribe button if you wish to ascend to the rank of Master, adorn your Jedi robes, and adorn yourself with your black-bladed or multicolored lightsaber, and as into the stars, and the more we now go. Abeloth was an astonishingly and nigh-unstoppable powerful force entity such that it was deemed impossible for mortals to understand and comprehend her dark power. Jaina Solo, the daughter of Han and Leia Solo, and the twin sister of Darth Kydus, compared her to being as like a supernova. She was described by being such like Tahari Vila as a living force volcano, constantly spewing out constant dark side energies. Ship considered Abloth to be a much stronger version of the Will than Vestra Kahi or Jaina Solo such that no one could command him while Abeloth ruled. While Abeloth appeared as a humanoid female of intermediate species to most and able to shapeshift at will due to her immense and uncontained force nexus that dwelled within her like a raging storm. Luke Skywalker, the Grand Master of the Jedi Order, when Abeloth broke free of the Maw, saw her true form beyond shadows and Vestra Kahi was able to see her true appearance and perceive her true attire after Kai discovered Abeloth's treachery against the Sith. Abeloth could command the native flora and fauna of her planet to do her bidding and its life, prolonging it using her immense power. She also had the insane ability to influence and can dominate the minds of Force-sensitive entities who had spent an extended period of time in her realm known as the Moor, causing them in psychosis, which made them believe that everyone except for other psychotic beings had been replaced and intimidated by imposters and instilling in them a new desire to find her and become her slave. The afflicted Jedi, as a result of this, gained access to many new Force powers. This is an incredible feat in Star Wars lore, as once the influence being found her, she consumed their life energy and life force and force powers, allowing her to gain a plethora of new powers and regenerate herself if she had sustained an injury, killing them and making herself stronger mercilessly. The strength of her influence was formidable and nigh unopposed, even when the Jedi learned what symptoms to look for, Upon the onset of the psychosis, they still believed that everyone they knew was an imposter. Avaloth called ship to her from across the galaxy itself, bidding him to come and join her service and slave army. And Nili was able to use her mind and plethora of dark side techniques and abilities to deceive Grandmaster Luke Skywalker in his most powerful variation into using the pool of knowledge reveled herself in beautific, psychotic form to Ben Skywalker, Luke's own son, and confounded a whole strike force team of Sith to the point that all of them failed to notice how she was having them eventually and slowly killed off until Vestara Kai explained the threat to them. She was also able to control the meditation sphere ship, which was programmed to obey her strongest will. Her powers were overwhelming those of the Sith and of the Jedi's attempts to control the sphere, playing with them like toys. 
Moreover, she could mind trick whole rooms of lesser entities and beings into supporting her political statements and craft false and viewed posters that would inspire those who looked upon it to vote for Dala. Avalos's strength and physical augmentation through the dark side of the Force was a dozen times that of Grandmaster Luke Skywalker's own, who was widely recognized as the most powerful Force user in all of the galaxy. However, Skywalker was able to defeat her in a duel, despite this by raining debris on her from around the terrain. Avalos was able to boost her walking speed with the dark side energies funneling into her veins, to the point that she could even keep up with Sith. Additionally, she could use two to menace, usually with ease, being able to block normally lightsaber strikes and lightning, such as Vitiate, Yoda, and many other beings have done in the past. Abloth wield exceptional mastery over her telekinetic prowess, using the Force to blast everyone away from her during her battle with the Sith and the Jedi, choke Sith, murder the Chief of State and with Force wound, and hurl around aircraft easily. Abelos's sheer strength was extensive and nigh unopposed after a mental duel with Vol, and utterly enraged, Abelos released waves of force energy and dark side power on Tav that caused beings in her vicinity to instantly and instantaneously implode from the fuel dark side power, those further away from her, to be ripped to pieces and her skin to be ripped off the buildings to melt to the ground and glass and weaponry to fly through the city looking for someone to hurt so they could feel the pain and torment and utter agony that she often felt. The heat of the burning trees set much of the city on fire when she unleashed this ability. Avaloth was able to move people around with the force and across star systems and lift them with ease. She was also able to, only with great effort, partially resist the powers of a control weapon and she was also able to teleport herself short distances from one place to another, a power and ability which she used during her battle with the Sith and the Jedi. Avaloth had taken the most mantle of the most powerful Force user in the galaxy and possessed a Force healing that Luke Skywalker himself stated he had never encountered one as potent and incredible as has her proficiency with the ability. Avaloth was able to adopt physical appearances of beings that she had consumed and killed, including Kalista Ming and Dion Stard, and she was able to project images of other beings, as she did when projecting an image of Kalista while she, herself, she took on the form of Stard in an attempt to deceive Grandmaster Luke Skywalker. Avalos was able to redirect Vestra Kai's force lightning back at her, effortlessly using Tutaminus. She was also more than capable of using an exceptionally powerful variation of force lightning herself using it in multiple fights and duels with the Sith and Luke Skywalker. She was also known to feed on fear and death and the suffering of others around her in order to augment her own plethora of dark side abilities. She was also able and capable of compressing a huge amount of dark side power into a nexus and using it to detonate a, vo a volcano on the surface of worlds. She was alleged to know Sever Force, an ability that allowed beings to sever someone else's connection to the Force. It was most notably used by Darksider, where Darth Nihilus, the Lord of Hunger, and in my opinion the most powerful Sith Lord of all time, used it on his master Darth Traya, literally killing the midichlorians that were coursing around inside her. Avaloth occasionally used the ability named Force Flight. She possessed some skill at a variant of Syrokinesis, chilling living manner such as Sith as Desire, as well as Pyrokinesis, that could disable lightsaber blades from a distance. Avalos was also able to possess or switch bodies. Before Skywalker could kill her, she switched bodies with Stard and took on Stard's appearance, tricking the Jedi and the Sith for several days into believing that the Eldritch Abomination was dead. Later, she took over the body of Falansky Arkham Norangros Pell, although Pell fought back using his will. When she was again defeated by Skywalker, she left Pell's body and returned in the form of Kalista Meg soon after, and told Skywalker that she had more bodies than he could destroy on his own. She was also capable of absorbing and redirecting the consciousness of beings in order to enhance her power further, as Kalista Meg's mind dwelled within Avaloth. 
However, Luke was able to use Minimatomy to rip Kalista Meg's soul free from Abelos' containment and allow her to rest in peace and become one with the Force, severely weakening Abelos in her all her power. In the process, Luke Skywalker further stated that his insane potential, 25,000 midichlorians, possibly even more, coursing through his veins, he even stated that despite his immense power and the fact he was the most powerful Jedi of all time, he was only 1% in a thousand of Abeloths, saying that his power was only 1% of Abelos 1000. She was later able to use her ability to impersonate Rakari Kem and gain prominence on Kurusant. When Vol attempted to assassinate Kem, she easily beheaded the Grand Lord and forced High Lord Eval Orken to aid her in becoming Chief of State of the Galactic Alliance. Later, she also possessed Imperial Offer Lydia Pagroski as part of a plan to help Natasi Gdala gain power in the Imperial Remnants for her own designs and schemes. However, her dependency on Avatars was ultimately her greatest flaw and weakness, killing at any moment of Avatars and body while in her possession, also resulting in her strength weakening rapidly to the point of death. If you kill a lot of Avalos clone bodies and Avatar forms, she would weaken rapidly to the point of her death, should all be destroyed, which Luke ultimately utilised to deliver the finishing blow on Avalos in the Jewel at the Lake of Apparitions, a jewel that I will cover in a later video in depth. She preferred to inhabit the bodies of Force-sensitive beings, as non-Force-sensitive bodies failed to last for too long before decaying and deteriorating, similar to Emperor Chief Palpatine's attempt to revive himself using a clone body on Exegol. Once feeding on the suffering of Coruscant, her powers grew and augmented to the point where she could cause random lava overflows by her mere presence around, and could have three manifestations at one time. It was widely presumed that she would become effectively all-powerful and omnipotent if allowed to feed on the suffering of Coruscant for long enough, condemning them to a horrible fate worse than death and pure suffering. She could make monsters and mutations of the dark side, perversions of the dark side and abominations like herself, appear and manifestate themselves from the body of the dead that could inhabit and infect a computer. She was even able to resist a Force Blast unleashed by Ben Skywalker in a state of oneness with the Force that was stated to where it could have knocked a frigate out of orbit of a planet. Though swiftly, she was wounded by a thrown pillar, showing her that her Force Barrier's power to block raw manifestations of the Force itself could be bypassed with thrown and non-corporeal objects, much as what Skywalker's father did before to her. She also used technometry and flow walking in this state, although the latter power made her helpless while in the trance to use it. Her Force Scream, an ability that was most notably used by Emperor Palpatine in the Senate Chambers and his own office during his duel with Mace Windu, Kit Fisto, Agen Kola, and Sese Tien. Her Force Scream was so horrifying and horrific it could stagger the form of Jedi Masters. Avalos was also capable of producing a force flash that could affect the visuals of many ships in an entire star system at once, something that Luke Skywalker was not expected to be able to do. But for all her power, an immense dark side power swirling within her and around us now, Acolytes, even when boosted by the suffering of an entire world, she was not invincible and invulnerable, as one of her manifestations was annihilated by a thermal detonator and she would suffer wounds from blades, lightsaber bl blasters and forced her in objects that made it past her guard, severely weakening her, though she was not always harmed as much of a warder would be such an attack as she was able to quickly and effortlessly regenerate herself, as I've said before, her force healing was beyond any other being in all of Star Wars history. Also, she was able to nearly overcome and be nearly overcome by Vol when he attacked his dreams and he fought back with the mind shards and insults. Moreover, Darth Prey, the Dark Lord of the Sith, was able to harm her and severely weaken her by draining her life essence, though this hurt him severely by pouring acid on a wound, and Luke just as much during the duel at the Lake of Apparitions, and by recalling his severed hand that is lodged in her body from beyond shadows. Despite these perpetual weaknesses, and the fact that each time a body died, her power was reduced and reducted,
she could not truly be slain, except by the same method her predecessors were slain by, that being the wand in the mortis dagger. According to Vestra Kai, Abeloth may have, via unknown means, destroyed Sith shuttles. Abeloth was a masterful hand-to-hand -hand combatant, surviving duels with some of the greatest warriors ever, such as Grandmaster Luke Skywalker and Darth Krayt, two of the most powerful Sith to ever live, and two of the most powerful Star Wars characters, period. She was able to often overcome them with her tentacles, which could spring off like fingers. Abeloth was insanely, incredibly skilled and competent campaign manager as she did in her tenure as a political mastermind. Well, my friends, that was the complete power and insane dark side energies that swirled within the heart or void of Abeloth. Be sure to like and subscribe and ascend to the rank of master if you desire to hear more about this dark side perversion and entity with that out of the way acolytes. I bid you farewell. And I'll see you in a galaxy far, far away.